Now, first I got my mechanical pencil, my kneaded eraser. This one looks a little better than the other one. Anyway, and don't forget some really good hand lotion. My poor hands are as dry as a popcorn fart right now, but it's winter time. Anyway, let's do the first one. I'm going to show you how to do this one in perspective so you don't freak out about that thought. Draw an oval and on the upper side draw another oval. Now that looks like hard boiled eggs or sunny side up I guess more than hard boiled. Now mark here, here, These don't have to be perfect, or like the same length like that one. Anyway, what you're going to do with these is these are your petals. These on the back are going to be folded over. So you're not going to see anything but just a round edge there on those. And like I did up here, you can bring out a line drop it like that and just pick up the underside of that one so that one actually looks like it's bending over. You put a little shadow on it you can see it a little better. Just like that. Same thing over here. Straighten that up a little bit. And that would be a much larger one so we'll do like that. Go back, erase out those construction lines. Now, let's just go back in a little heavier and just fill in stronger lines and this is where you can get really dark if you want to and you can also leave them a little imperfect start leaving little gaps here like that want to really get serious about the way they look you can come into the center and give them short where they tuck into that center and let's make this look a little more number if you want to for some shading <laughs> but anyway and you can drop in a stem like this flower a little leaf and there you go. I'm going to leave that alone for now because you can come back with a stronger eraser like a pink pearl or on the other side of here. If you're using a number two, you can really dig those out. 